Hey everybody, welcome to Ask the Doctor Testosterone, starring Dr. George Antuliatos and brought to you by his book, The Bible of Bodybuilding 2, over 700 pages, everything you need to know in there about training, nutrition, supplementation, PEDs, cycles, all that great stuff. It's on Amazon.com. While you're on Amazon.com, might as well get my book, Real Bodybuilding by Ron Harris. Great book. And now, all the way from Athens, Greece, please welcome the man himself, Dr. T, Dr. George Antuliatos. How are you, doctor? I'm good. So you're just back from New York. Huh? How was the show? Great. A lot of people, a lot of people love Nick Walker's physique. A lot of people hate Nick Walker's physique, but the judges decided at the end of the night he was the man. He was the winner. Yeah, I mean, there's no question that Nick deserves the the win, but it's not about that. It's about winning the Olympia. But I think he looked more tight, or it was just a picture from last year or the year before. I mean, I don't know. Do you see he, he he was bloating while he was walking and not hitting the poses? No, you know his his midsection is not. It's not a small flat midsection. It's not. But the protrude. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't protrude anything like it did in Pittsburgh. I'll tell you when when he hits the back shots. If you're off to the side, I like, know that, but yeah. look to the front. No, it's it didn't stick out. He doesn't have a bubble gut. He just doesn't have a very small waist. But he's a big, he's a big guy. He's like, you know, but you know anatomy. He has phenomenal structure, very good anatomy, symmetry, very round bellies. Yeah. Uh, I mean, proportional. Yeah. Neglecting the part be, be, below the, the knees. Listen, Dennis Will had no calves at all. Okay. Yet he managed to win the Arnold Classic. So did uh, Nick. It's about an aesthetic thing, but um, I think height to weight, he has the most, uh, he's the most packed guy from all, right? Yeah. Yeah. The second place guy, Martin Fitchwater, he looked very good too. It was very close. Um, if he had won, I wouldn't have argued against the decision, yeah. but you know, Nick's gets so big and he, he's got that, he's just got that overwhelming mass and the structure and the shape. Yeah. With me. yeah he looks, you know, that's an Olympian right there. He's been third place at the Olympia. None of, these, glutes, none of these guys were, that were on. The glutes were on. They could have been tighter. I, I'd say this is like 90% of his best, but that was enough. He's not competing against Hottie and Derek and Samson here. It's it's guys of a slightly lesser caliber. He deserved the win. I, I have no issue with him winning. Yeah. But he's going to have to be 100% at the Olympia or else. Well, to me, I don't know who's going to win, but to me, the top three are uh, – now the top four, of course, but I don't know who will crack the top three. Yeah. Uh, I mean, will Samson beat outside because Samson was a little bit improved in the UK? It's really hard because you need to to know who's going to be in shape that particular day. Not the day before, not the day after. Right. And Instagram doesn't matter, guys. doesn't matter what they look like in their hotel the day before. Nothing matters until they get on stage. But good show. Jake Wood was there. Dan Solomon was there. Gave a little speech. My yeah, I mean, I got I, you get to see most of the people. I only see these people at the shows, you know. Like I, I only get to see you like at the Arnold Olympia every couple of years, so it's cool. And it was did Christian. You, did you spend the night in New York? Yeah, two nights. I was there Friday night and Saturday night. And Christian helped me with the coverage. Christian helped me with the camera and everything. My son, so his first pro show. Your boy. Yeah, it was his first pro show, and uh, he's very motivated. He's natty, but still, just no, see him. Yeah, you travel together? Oh, he's living there. No, no, no. He's, he lives at home with me. So we drove down together, drove back together. We even trained at the Evan Senapani's main oh, gym all those years. Yeah, this, yeah, we took the, you know, the super gym in uh, the Montanari Brothers gym in New Haven, Connecticut. We went there on the way back, had a good workout. They have the old school equipment. The show was in New Jersey or New York? Uh, the show was in New Jersey, but just over the border. Like Once you cross over to New Jersey, it was the first exit off the highway. It's right there. Mm -hmm. so it was cool. But yeah. All right, guys, we'll get into your questions now. The first one, doctor, comes from another doctor, Leandro Manu Manducci, in Brazil. It says, here in Brazil, there are some cardiologists who categorically state that anyone who uses 200 milligrams of testosterone per week forever or for long periods will develop cardiovascular problems, cardio cardiac remodeling with reduced strain and heart failure. Do you agree, doctor? Does this risk, does this risk exist even though Testosterone is slightly physiological at this dose, 200 milligrams. Yeah, I mean, if you have a heart problem, perhaps. The point is that low testosterone creates problems. Abuse of a testosterone, but abuse, I don't think 250 will give you a heart failure or a hypertrophy. 
And you need remodeling where you already have LVH, out of body building. Mm. One is testosterone has three benefits in the heart. First, the heart pumps more efficiently, okay? Better inotropic function, okay? More better systolic movement. It optimizes calcium and magnesium, the very important minerals for the heart pump. And besides, as a muscle, it also reflects to the stimulus of, of the testosterone, but we're talking about optimization. That's why you shouldn't do TRT about your gains or, 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 or your six pack, but about being healthy physically and mentally. Number two, testosterone um, releases nitric oxide that vasodilates the coronaries and it's better oxygenation. Number three, it burns the visceral fat that lowers the LDL and you have better lipids. Yeah. We know if you're low testosterone, you, you become fat and you have this epidemia that creates cholesterol plaques, and then you have the problems with heart attacks. Yeah. yeah you, you recently posted this big meta study that came out, the results showing that low testosterone is far more dangerous to your, to your overall yeah, health. Yeah, for a couple of years in the U.S. on the U.K. And today there was a doctor that sent me uh, a newspaper uh, a Greek newspaper, a local newspaper, saying that, that we already know. And I said, thank God, it's about redemption here that uh, they finally see the, the, the light, you know, and they're becoming lighting up. Yeah. And the dark ages are over. We have to understand this, that not just cardiovascular disease, but no diabetes, no prostate cancer with testosterone. Yeah, right on. All right. All right, next question, doctor. What is the reason for increased estrogen levels when I combine testosterone and masteron? I'm doing testosterone at 250 milligrams, masteron at 350. E2 is 80, only testosterone, no A1, E2, 120 with masteron. Oh, no AI, I'm sorry, no AI, E2, 120 with masteron, no AI. I have no negative estrogenic side effects. So... Uh, he had more testosterone while not using master. His estrogen levels increase when he uses testosterone and master together. First uh, of all, master could be faked with more testosterone. Mm. Second, 250 is not a low dose. It definitely aromatizes, but yet the testosterone levels you create with 250 are good enough to justify an estradiol of 80. Come mm. on, you need proportion of that. Unless you take an AI that's going to kill your estrogen, it's not good for your uh, sex drive. Okay, so if your total testosterone is 2,000, uh, 80 of the sodal is fine. No, oh, okay. right? But listen, if the masteron is fake, it's reasonable to increase. Masteron has antihistogenic activity just like DHT. The point is, DHT doesn't work like AIs. And what's the tricky part of, a, of DHT, of masteron provider? that it lowers the free the, the shbg the free testosterone goes up that's why it's a great libido enhancer but the free testosterone will aromatize <laughs> oh geez yeah all right okay makes sense here's a here's an odd question about gyno i was a really fat kid in my teenage years the weight is lost got some loose skin on my thighs lower back into my belly but the problem is the weight loss left me with some gyno not that much but you can see it if i flex Currently, I'm doing my second cycle, 300 testosterone and 50 milligrams Winstrol. Yes, I did do PCT after my first cycle. Everything is perfectly fine. The question is, will the gyno disappear or do I need surgery? I've also heard that Tren might remove gyno. Oh, boy, I never heard that. <laughs> Tren removing Tren doesn't, doesn't lead to gyno because it doesn't aromatize. But uh, what type of gyno do you have? Is it because of fat tissue or because of the gland? We have to clarify between these two and differentiate. Now, if you're obese and you lose weight, you have more skin folds, okay, that sag. Hmm. And you need a lipo, no, not a lipo, but lipo um, sculpting, uh, okay? But now, yeah. if you abuse gear in the cycle, then you will it will convert eventually to estradiol that makes the nipple to protrude and be painful. This is hormonal type of gyno, okay? Gotcha. 
Yeah, because I it has all gyno is hormonal, right? I mean, it has to be an increase in estrogen to create that. Yes, because bodybuilders work out and usually they are lean over here. Yeah. So but, I think what, you, people confuse like what you're saying. Weight loss gives you loose skin, and you might think that's gyno, but it's not. It's just skin. Yeah, it's skin, but it's, listen, even we bodybuild, you and I, if we're not on shape, if we're not 10%, our pecs sag a little bit, you know? Yeah. Yep. The, the muscle, like, for instance, when Ron Coleman is off-season, it goes down like a gorilla. <laughs> chest, you know? So imagine those guys that are not lean, are over 15%, and they think they're gano, but it's just more fat tissue that with um, with gravity goes down. Yeah. When you're lean, you don't have fat tissue, so chest is tight. Yeah. You look harder because you are leaner. Of course. So because fat makes you flabby. If you've had gyno for years, the the surgery is the only option, right? It's not you're take not it you can't take, take it off. Yeah, take, take it off. Simple surgery. Here's a training question. We get those every once in a while. I only have time to train on certain days, and if I miss a session, I can't make it up on an extra day. Does it make sense to train if I am tired and can only make a partial effort for maintenance, or is it better to skip and rest that day? Oh, to me, it's a waste of time when you don't feel a hundred percent on. And I'm just saying. There are people who work nine to five and then they have left all their energy to at work and they go with a 20% battery to the gym. No, I'm sorry. You have to go for a war unless you want to fool around. Okay. Yeah. So when you feel ready, perhaps a Saturday or a Sunday, go for it. But it's better stay home and sleep and fill up your glycogen rather than making a less creative and productive uh, workout, you know? Yeah. Now, now, if you have to train, just pump a little bit of blood. Yesterday, I felt horrible. I say, I'm not gonna miss my Sunday. So I lifted really light. I just had a pump. Yeah. All right, but Sean Ray said, better lose a workout than missing a meal because meal is the bidding blocks. Yeah, 100%, cool. All right, and, uh, and overtraining is a real thing. People, you can become overtrained. I don't think as many people are overtrained to think they are, but yeah. Hard and you don't sleep well, it's overtraining. Finally, eventually, if you don't eat well, it's overtraining again. Yeah, if you're not recovering, if you don't sleep and eat enough, yeah. sure. All right, here's a here's a good question. I left a vial of testosterone sipping it in my car, and it was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. It's pretty hot for one hour. It's not cloudy, and there's no crystals in it. Can I still use it if the liquid is clear? Uh, I think they, they mentioned to keep it in room temperature. Yeah, I think 30 is is almost 30. Uh, 80 is around 30 Celsius. But, uh, well, you have nothing to lose. Just <laughs> use it and test afterwards, you know? Yeah. I mean, we hate throwing drugs away. I, I hate throwing steroids away. It kills me. But, yeah, don't do that again, sir. Okay. Next one. I am 28 years old. I have knee pain, which isn't too severe, but includes some bone swelling. My doctor, my doctor recommended rest and anti-inflammatory medication. I love running, and even after six weeks of rest, the pain persists just like the first day. Is there anything else I can take to heal more quickly? My Jogging is the worst thing to do because you have concussion. No all right? No, just walking. Up heels, no down heels. Don't do steps also. Stationary bicycle, don't jog. That's why he, he can heal. Come on. Yeah, I mean, people are looking for a peptide to heal faster. Supplement. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah but, but you have to be reasonable. Don't ask for trouble, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I used, you know, BPC-157. It's I, like saying I'm not recovering from my patella rupture because I'm doing uh, all, 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 ask the grass squat. Come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's what I've been trying to do. Okay, last question. He wants to set, tell you first, this is the most informative show on the internet on PEDs. It's true. I didn't say at the beginning, this is the only weekly show, guys, where you have access to a medical doctor for your questions. Currently on 100 milligrams test sip as my HRT protocol. If I keep the test at 100 and added DECA or equipoise, would my test levels remain the same on blood work? Yes, or but the testosterone, no. Uh, DECA will not, no, no steroid will affect it, the total testosterone, but if it's a DHT uh, derivative like Primo, Winstrol, Anabar, Master, and Proviron, it will affect the free testosterone. Okay. I think DECA has very low affinity of binding to its HBG. 
is, is low androgenic, but it doesn't create a good response. That's why it's not good for sex drive. But if you use Primo, Winslow, Anabar, uh, Master, and Proviron, you have a good boner because it crashes the CGPG and liberates more free testosterone. But in the paper, no, just the testosterone is the result of using the testosterone. Now, the free testosterone will, will, will go high if you use the DHC derivatives that bind tightly to the CGPG. So, you know, these guys that take DECA only, there are these people out there. What do you do for your sex drive? Horrible, I agree. But would their test levels be normal on paper or would they be elevated? It's a derivative of testosterone, you know, it's not testosterone. So would your would it increase your total T on in blood work or no? I don't think so because I mean, listen, somebody uses two fifty dec uh, two fifty testosterone fifty deca, and his testosterone doesn't go higher than uh, fifteen hundred. Okay. I don't think it will affect it. No. Okay. Fair you right. can try. It. That's my uh, that's my idea. That's my opinion. You know. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's all the questions for this week, Doctor. Uh, appreciate you doing this. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is over there, 7.40 at night. It's always late. You always do these late, so appreciate that so much. Guys, support the show. Support the doctor's book, The Bible of Bodybuilding 2. Check that out on Amazon.com. If you read this book, guys, most of these questions that you answer that you ask are answered in the book. You'll have a really good, solid uh, education on PEDs and training and nutrition. It's a really great resource to have just to look up things. I, every once in a while, I'll look up a compound and things like that on there. So much info. And a QA and a at the end to see how smart, how much you actually retained of what you read. Cool stuff there. That's it. Follow Dr. T on Instagram at, at Dr. George Chuliados. And do I have a brand here, a banner? I'm going to put that up there. Ah, I should put that up the whole time. Astroc Testosterone. That's it, guys. Uh, Dr. T, thank you so much for taking the time answering these questions. Again, the only show on YouTube every week. You can get your questions answered by a medical doctor also a champion bodybuilder. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Ask Dr. T with Dr. George Antuliados. We'll see you next time.